Hello everyone. And welcome back once again in another interesting video. Today, we have an exciting topic for aspiring Python web developers the top 20 Python web development interview questions and answers. Python is a popular language for web development, and understanding these questions can help you prepare for interviews and gain a deeper insight into web development using Python. So if you're ready, let's start today's video. Question 1. What is Flask and how does it differ from Django? Flask is a micro web framework for Python, emphasizing simplicity and flexibility. Django, on the other hand, is a high-level web framework with a more comprehensive feature set, including an ORM, authentication, and an admin interface. Question 2. Explain the WSGI interface. WSGI or Web Server Gateway Interface is a standardized protocol that defines how web servers and Python web applications communicate. It ensures compatibility between different web servers and Python web frameworks by providing a common interface for handling HTTP requests and responses. Question 3. What is a virtual environment in Python? A virtual environment is an isolated Python environment that allows developers to manage project-specific dependencies separately. It helps prevent conflicts between packages and facilitates dependency management, ensuring that each project has its own clean environment. Question 4. What is a decorator in Flask? In Flask, decorators are functions that modify the behavior of root functions. They are often used for URL routing and adding extra functionality to view functions, such as authentication checks, logging, or caching, without modifying the original function itself. Question 5. Explain the role of the requirements.txt file in Python web development. The requirements.txt file lists all the Python packages and their versions required for a project. It plays a crucial role in ensuring that a project's dependencies are consistent across different environments, simplifying deployment, and making it easier to recreate the development environment elsewhere. Question 6. What is an ORM, and how is it used in Django? ORM or Object Relational Mapping is a programming technique that allows developers to interact with databases using Python objects instead of writing SQL queries. In Django, the ORM enables developers to define database models as Python classes and perform database operations using Python code, making database interaction more Pythonic and abstracting away low-level database details. Question 7. Explain the MVC architectural pattern and how it's used in Django. MVC or Model View Controller is a design pattern that separates an application into three components, model, data and business logic, view, user interface, and controller, handles user input and manages interactions. In Django, this pattern is implemented as MVT, model view template, where the template, presentation logic, corresponds to the view in traditional MVC, making it easier to create web applications with clear separation of concerns. Question 8. What is middleware in Django? Middleware in Django is a series of hooks or processing steps that are executed before or after processing an HTTP request. It allows developers to add cross-cutting concerns such as authentication, security, or logging to the request response handling process. Middleware functions are executed in a specific order defined in the Django settings. Question 9. What is CSRF protection? and how is it implemented in Django. CSRF or cross-site request forgery is a security vulnerability where an attacker tricks a user into performing actions on a website without their consent. Django provides built-in CSRF protection by generating and validating unique tokens for each form submission. This helps ensure that requests originate from a trusted source. Question 10. Explain the purpose of Django's admin interface. 
Django's admin interface is an automatically generated administrative panel that allows administrators and authorized users to manage database records and perform CRUD means create, read, update, delete operations on the application's data models. It simplifies content management and administrative tasks without requiring custom views or templates. Question 11. What is a Django template? A Django template is a text-based file that defines the structure and layout of HTML documents. It allows developers to generate dynamic web pages by inserting data from Python views using template tags and filters. Django templates provide a clean separation of logic and presentation, enhancing code readability and maintainability. Question 12. Explain the purpose of migrations in Django. Migrations in Django are a mechanism for managing database schema changes over time. They allow developers to make changes to the database schema, such as adding new tables or modifying existing ones, while keeping track of these changes in a version-controlled manner. Migrations ensure that the database schema remains synchronized with the application's data models as they evolve. Question 13. What is the purpose of the static underscore URL and media underscore URL settings in Django? Static underscore URL is a Django setting that defines the base URL for serving static files, such as CSS, JavaScript, and images, from the project's static underscore root directory. Media underscore URL, on the other hand, defines the base URL for serving user uploaded media files from the media underscore root directory. These settings are crucial for correctly serving static and media files in a Django application. Question 14. Explain the role of URL routing in web applications. URL routing is the process of mapping incoming HTTP requests to specific view functions or handlers in a web application. It determines which code should be executed based on the URL path and HTTP method like GET, POST, etc. In Python web development frameworks like Flask and Django, URL routing is defined using routes or URL patterns to create a logical structure for handling different parts of the application. Question 15. What is AJAX, and how can it be used in Python web development? AJAX or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML is a technique for making asynchronous HTTP requests from a web page to the server without requiring a full page reload. Python web frameworks like Flask and Django can handle AJAX requests by providing JSON or other data formats as responses. This enables dynamic and interactive web applications without disrupting the user experience. Question 16. Explain the concept of middleware in Flask. In Flask, middleware refers to functions or components that can intercept and modify requests and responses globally across the application. Middleware can be used for tasks like authentication, logging, error handling, and more. Flask uses the before underscore request and after underscore request decorators to define middleware functions. Question 17. What is SQL Alchemy? and how is it used in Python web development. SQL Alchemy is a popular Python SQL toolkit and object relational mapping or ORM library. It allows developers to work with databases using Python objects and SQL expressions. SQL Alchemy provides a high level of abstraction while offering the flexibility to write custom SQL queries when needed. It is often used in web applications to interact with relational databases. Question 19. What are blueprints in Flask, and why are they useful? Blueprints in Flask are a way to organize and structure a Flask application into reusable components. They allow developers to group related routes, views, and templates together, making it easier to maintain and extend large applications. Blueprints promote modularity and maintainability by breaking down the application into smaller, manageable pieces. Question 20. 
What is the purpose of Gunicorn and UWSGI in Python web development? Gunicorn or Green Unicorn and UWSGI are application server options commonly used in Python web development. Their primary purpose is to serve as a bridge between your web application code, example, written in Flask or Django, and the web server, example, Jinx or Apache, to handle incoming HTTP requests and distribute them to your application. And there you have it. We've covered the top 20 web development interview questions and answers in Python with detailed explanations. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep coding and keep challenging yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up for more tech and interview content. Also, feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding!